You are watching Embassy Network Television, the number one Christian channel in the region. The unlimited, boundless, timeless, distanceless vehicle of good news. Join us now for your healing, deliverance and elevation of your knowledge level. You are welcome to worship with us every Saturday from 8 a.m., Sunday from 8 a.m., and healing miracle and deliverance service on Wednesday as from 9 a.m. If you want to know how to grow your faith, deal with demons, how to paralyze witches and build your spiritual life every day, only through Embassy Network Television, Channel 809 on Go TV and 495 on Star Times and all free-to-air devices. Amen. Lakini umeamini Yesu anakuponya? Eh? Unaamini? Amen. Santi Yesu kwa kuponya huyu mzee. Nimepita karibu na yeye, nikaona ana imani. Amen. Amen. Ndio sinafanya unakosa nguvu ya kutembea? Mimiwa ina nguvu. Mm. Na mgongo hakuna. Yesu amekupea mgongo. Simama. Injunda go tali na lila maana kwa bwende. Tena naye simama tu. Simama. Amen. Twa davas. Danga naye. Na utana ko bwata kwa bwende huyu. Bwato ka yoga ndorole. Na liora manyoso kwa bwende. Twa ndai. Tangulia hapo twenda na wewe. Hey. Amen. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Mugaka. Mugaka. Ngero mumuro yote nina abu nyimbe yore. Mongere nyimbe yao. Mongera. Onjo kundi. Ah ah. Ngeli boga. Onjo kundi kedi. Amen. 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 Twenty of us. Danganai. Na wachungaji kulianza na kule ambako mulikuwa mnazungumza bali sa siku na we ulianza ibada na siku ya jumamosi yes. Leo hii unafanya ibada siku ya jumapili yeah. Mana baba yako alikuwa mchungaji bado wao wanafanya ibada siku ya jumamosi yeah. Na atu, atuzungumizi mambo haya kusudi kwamba tuweza kuhukumu mtu mm -hmm. Lakini kusudi kwamba tuweza kushare nanyi ila light tukunayo Amen. We ulianza baba yako pia ni mchungaji yeah. uli, na ulianza ya jumapili Kweli. Leo kwa haba unaruka jumamosi Kweli. Mimi nilizaliwa mahali mmoja anaenda Jumapili anapenda Jumapili mwingine anapenda Jumamosi mimi kwa sababu ya wazazi wangu hao na nikajaribu kutafuta ufunuo ni ndio maana unaniona niko Jumamosi niko Jumapili lakini sasa yule mtazamaji anayetuangalia anaweza akatuhukumu au akafikiria kwamba tunampotoza je mm -hmm. ni, 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 ni kweli kwamba Mungu alifanya siku nyingine hau akatoa sabato kwa Jumamosi akaiweka chumapili. Nijua nasema tujibu ilo kabla tuonoe kwenye studio. Yes, kabisa. Na, na, na tumekua tukijibu mambo yote na maandiko. Tusiepe. Kwele. Bado iwe kwenye maandiko. Yale, Amen. yale. Kabisa. Asa hii, hii, hii. Asa mungu, hivi kwamba mungu hana interest tena na siku. Ata kwenye hagano chipia hilo. Mm -hmm. New covenant. Kwenye sheria mpia. Akisha ondoa hile, hile sheria ya, ya ine. Na sheria zingine zote. Akueka chochote au tutafanya fanyaje tujue kwamba leo tumekusanyika hapa na Mungu. Maana pia alisema mahali watakusanyika wawili au watatu nitakuwa huko. Itakuwa pale. Itakuwa siku gani? <laughs> mm? ah. Na imeandikwa kwa Biblia kwamba msiache kukusanyika mm -hmm. kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine. Mm -hmm. Ni vizuri kwenda kwa Biblia tuulize Mungu. Ulikuwa na siku ya saba. Kweli. Je, umewahi fanya siku nyingine tena? 
Uh, kabla tutaenda hapo ndani dad sababu najua tutaelekea labda katika Hebrews. Ndio ni Hebrews ni wewe ni tu. Eh ni Hebrews. Lakini pia nimegundua tusiwambie sana mambo ya Hebrews. Sababu kuna watu wengine waamini katika Hebrews. Ndio. Yaani una unamaanisha nini? Waamini katika Bible? <laughs> katika Bible fulani wanaamini katika vitabu 65 maana sisi tunaamini kwenye 66 kufikia sasa kwa kweli jambo kama, kama wana theolojia najua tunasoma zaidi lakini ndio lakini wana... tunasoma kama mia lakini tuliamua tu kuamini kwenye 66 yes okay. kwa kuongozwa na roho in the 66 hata nakumbuka wakati mimi nikiwa katika shule ya kitheolojia ndio tuliomba sana tufundishwe kitabu cha waibrania mm na haikuwezekana tukaambiwa hiyo uwezi fundishwa ukiwa katika degree ya kwanza lakini hiki kitabu cha Hebrews pia ni Biblia mm -hmm. na ni Biblia ya agano jipya kweli na bibi, ni Biblia iko na mambo ambayo watu wengine hawapendi kusikia Dio. ni sawa lakini mimi naamini ya kwamba unapochambua Biblia unastahili uichambue yote kwa ujumla ndio uone hii ilienda sehemu gani hii ilienda wakati gani hii ilikuwa kwa wakati gani hii inatuelekeza aje so mambo ya kitabu cha Hebrews iko na mambo ya kusema ndio ah labda niruhusiwe nisome katika is it Hebrews chapter 3 webrania yes una, unaweza ukasoma 313 pia usome 4 kuanzia mstari wa 4 313 ndio na uh, inasema but encourage one another daily 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 kwa hiyo kuna 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 siku nyingine nayo imeanza kukuja ehe uh -huh. hey. uh -huh. <laughs> hapo tumetoka seventh day uh -huh. tunakwenda daily. daily na tunakwenda kwenye siku yenyewe sasa uh -huh. tutakapokwenda kwenye ibrania ine lakini soma hiyo kwanza Uh, as long as it is called today ndio so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness yes so it is encourage one another daily. as long as it is daily daily as long as it is called today today yes ine kumi na ine mstari wa ine ine mstari wa ine hapo ndio unaanzia ikiongea kuhusu sabato ya siku ya saba mm -hmm. na tutamalizia kwenye mstari wa saba For somewhere he has spoken about the seventh day in these words. And on the seventh day God rested from all his work. Ndio. Verse 5 and again in the passage above he says they shall never enter my rest. Verse 6 it still remains that some will enter that rest. And those who formerly had the gospel preached to them did not go in because of their disobedience mm -hmm. so there's a kind of rest you go in yes. automatically you always kwani sabato yeah, yeah. it's a rest you go in after you hear yes. the gospel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. therefore god that's verse 7 verse 7 therefore god again set a certain day calling it today unaona hapo kuna maneno god again uh -huh. meaning at some point you are done is yeah. yeah. redoing it uh -huh. yes but apo ya kwanza he said that day called the seventh, the seventh day. day but now again is mm -hmm. setting up a certain, a certain day, certain day. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. what is the name of the day today is calling it today yes so if god has set another day calling it to today mm -hmm. when is today today is today <laughs> definitely it has to be day yes yes It has to be day. Yes. Asa hapo mimi niliposikia hayo. Najua kama mna, mna mengi ya kuzungumza hapo lakini tutafungumza kwa ufupi. Mm -hmm. Niliboangalia hapo nikasema Mungu alifanya siku ya saba. Baadaye tena kwa sababu wengine walisikia injili na hawakuamini na kwa hiyo hawakufanikiwa kuingia kwenye pumziko lile. Yes. Ikamlasimu Mungu. Mm -hmm. Atenge tena siku nyingine mm -hmm. ambayo sio ya saba mm -hmm. na sio ya kwanza uh -huh. lakini akaipatia jina. Uh -huh. Siku hiyo inaitwa leo. leo. Wow. Kwa hiyo leo haiwezi kawa siku ya saba tena. Haiwezi kawa siku ya kwanza. Haiwezi uh -huh. kawa siku ya pili lakini ni leo. Ni leo. Na amesema ame baada kwenye Wabirania 3:13 kwamba siku hiyo 
mu, muendelea kuambiana maneno ya kutiana moyo mm -hmm. ikiwa hiyo siku inaitwa leo. leo akasema mufanya hivyo kila siku as long as inaitwa leo. leo siku nyingine ya Mungu aliyoitanga ni Mungu mwenyewe yeye ndiye aliweka ya kwanza na hii ya pili ameiweka mm -hmm. kwa kutiana moyo inaitwa leo. leo kwa sababu gani ile aliyoweka ya kwanza haikuwa patia wale watu mm -hmm. alichotegemea itawapatia. Mm -hmm. Akasema sita waste siku zingine hapa katikati. Mm -hmm. Ah watu nataka kuwaokoa kila siku. <laughs> 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 nataka ni waokoe kila siku. Kwa hiyo nitaweka siku nyingine badala ni wasubiri siku ya saba. Mm -hmm. Wacha niweke siku nyingine na nitaipatia China. Mm -hmm. Akaipatia China leo. leo. Today. Wow. Kwa hiyo ukiniona hapa Jumapili ni kwa sababu kwenye akili zangu nasema ah Leo tena niko nyumbani sichakwenda kumwabudu leo. Ukiniona Jumamosi leo. Yaani sina sina shida kabisa na mtu yeyote mm -hmm. atakayemwabudu Mungu as long as inaitwa leo. leo. Kwa hiyo mimi sina mipaka. Amen. Sina mipaka ndio usije ukasema ah sisi tulikuwa vizuri lakini pasi wakatupatia mafundisho yakabadilisha. Ah ah mm -hmm. siku kubadilisha kutoka Jumapili. <laughs> mimi nilikuleta leo. Wala siku kubadilisha kwenda Jumapili. <laughs> nilikuleta <laughs> leo. leo. Na hata siku ya leo ni Alhamis. Lakini hapa tuna enjoy kwa maana <laughs> ni leo. leo. Amen. Na unajua nini? Ile siku ya saba Mungu akuwa anafanya miujiza. Lakini hii siku inayoitwa leo anafanya miujiza. Ndio ndio maana Bible inauliza kwani ninyi mnadhani kwamba Mungu anawapatia roho na kuwa support mfanye miujiza kwa sababu mnafuata sheria au kwa sababu mnaamini. Aha. Wagalatia 3 yes. mstari wa 5. Eh pasa anapenda kusoma wewe soma. Ajua <laughs> hayo mambo mengine utayapata yako kwa Biblia. Ah yapo yapo yapo. <laughs> yaani kama kuna kitabu sikosei hivi uh, ni Bible. Amen. As a word of grace. Uh, wagaratia tatu mstari wa 15 mstari wa 5 mstari wa 5 ndio does god give you his spirit and work miracles among you because you observe the law or because you believe what you had mm. aha mm. Be, you believe what you had, had. lazima ukirudi huko 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 mahali ulikuwa kwenye waibrania hile mhm mm mstari wa 8 Itakwambia leo siku hiyo inaitwa leo. Ukisikiliza usifanye moja kwa mgumu, uamini. Maana ukiamini utapokea muujiza. Amen. Hallelujah. Niruhusu nisome. Soma sasa. <laughs> Niruhusu nianzie saba. So Ndiyo. as the Holy Spirit says, today if you hear his voice, verses 8, do not harden your hearts mm -hmm. as you did in the rebellion yes. during the time of testing in the desert yes desert hiyo ni wakati wa sharia yes msifanye vile mlifanya <laughs> mmebewa siku nyingine si ya saba sasa mm -hmm. na sio ya sheria mm -hmm. na Mungu anataka kufanya muujiza mm -hmm. na atafanya kama umesikia mm -hmm. na kuamini ulichokisikia mm -hmm. sio kwa kufuata sheria tena so hapa wagaratia tatu Eh hey, irudie tunaona ime, imekupendeza hiyo. Does God give you his spirit mm -hmm. and work miracles among you because you observe the law or because you believe what you had? The answer of course hapo tumesoma verse moja lakini mwenye anataka kuelewa zaidi atasoma wagaratia yote tatu. Maana mm hiyo -hmm. wagaratia hiyo hiyo ndio nasema sasa atuko chini ya, ya sheria tuko chini ya Yesu. Labda pasta hapa mimi nakiona eh. tofauti kidogo. Swali ni je, ukisoma ili fungu, does God give you his spirit and work miracles among you because you observe the law or because you believe what you had? Mimi nikiangalia labda hakuna hacha ya kupigana. Hakuna mm. kabisa. Mm sababu kwingineko kufanya miuchiza ni atia hata kuwa na roho mtakatifu na hofia inaweza kuwa ni atia sababu kama mimi nimezaliwa kisi na pale lile kanisa ambalo mimi nimelelewa ilikuwa ni atia kuonekana ni kambu, ni, ni kana kwamba uko na roho mtakatifu wanaanza kusema hao wamekuja na hizi maro zingine <laughs> Kwani unaomba ni kama watu wa, 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 wa roho hawa? 
sababu unastahili kama ni kuomba unaomba tu pole pole baba yetu aliye mbinguni tunakushukuru so ikawa roho mtakatifu hachapewa nafasi kabisa kabisa mahali pale na kufanya miuchiza mahali pale utaitwa church board na si wadanganyi miuchiza uombe mtu anguke ama uombe mtu apone ama ufanye kitu uta, utaitwa church board kama nimekosea niko na ruhusa ya kuulizwa utaitwa church board na ujibu ya kwamba ulipomuombea alianguka namna gani ulitumia nguvu gani ni kama ni hatia kukuwa na roho mtakatifu mm-hmm. kuomba katika roho ni hatia ndio sababu labda hili fungu alifai kwingineko sababu biblia inapouliza did the, did god give you his spirit and allowed you to do miracles among you because you observe the law yani kitu paulo anasema ni kwamba god does not give people his spirit and he does not do miracles among them if they observe the law that's yes. what he said yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 yo unajua ina, inajukua muda kuelewa anasema nini ana, ana yani lugha yake ni kama um, lugha ambayo ina, inaanzia kwa yani kwa kujibu swali kabla ya kuuliza swa, swali you know asa hiyo hiyo lugha yake anachosema ni kwamba if you observe the law, the law. and uh, expect god to give you his, his spirit, spirit and do miracles yes. on that basis it will not happen yes that's what he said ndio maana anasema kwenye warumi kwamba those who observe the law have been alienated from christ ha huh? iko kweli yes and takuonyesh galatians 5 hata kabla usome na unajua what actually say that is the emphasis uh-huh. that Paul is saying uh-huh. now and, and in another way kitu kingine anasema if you want to receive the spirit mm-hmm. and you want to do miracles uh-huh. separate yourself from the law <laughs> that's what he say amen in a, in, a, in, a, in a simple language that uh-huh. is exactly what Galatians 3:5 is saying mm. and it's also telling you that the law and the miracles you want mm-hmm. and the spirit you want mm-hmm. have no relationship Aha. Na it is Christ what you hear about the Christ mm-hmm. is what gives you what you want. Mm-hmm. Ndio maana anasema kwenye Wagaratia 5. Mm-hmm. Galatians 5. Mm-hmm. Is that Galatians 5 verse 4? Anasema those who try who are trying to yes. be justified by the law yes. have been separated from Jesus. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alienated, alienated. Alienated from Christ. Yes. You have fallen away, away. from grace. Yes. That's a very strong ah. language. Yes. You have fallen. Yes. That's what the Bible says. No I'm reading the Bible. <laughs> I will read again. Unajua ni makosa mchungaji kwenda mahali Mungu amedambu vitu alafu upepe urudishe kwa nyumba kwa nyumba yake. Ni makosa. Ni makosa. Amita kwa rafiki hata wewe uone mfanyikazi wako umechukua takataka ukaewe kwenye dumping site kisha yule mfanyikazi ukirudi ameirudisha sitting room. Eti nilikuwa najua hili yako. Utamfuta kazi. Ameipanga vizuri. Eh this ni wewe ulikuwa umenunua mapema. Eh Wacha ni kusomea hiyo fungu tena verse 4 You who are trying to be justified by law mm-hmm. have been alienated mm-hmm. from Christ you have fallen away from grace So ukisikia mtu anasema alianguka kutoka kwa Nehema mm-hmm. si kwamba alimwacha Yesu ah ah alianza kufuata sheria Hiyo ndio maana ya kibibilia Aha. ya kuanguka kutoka kwa Nehema, kwa nehema. Mm-hmm. Sio haya mambo tunazungumza ba ulia aturungana kwa Grace. No. <laughs> na ukisikia mtu anasema nimefuata sheria. Ni sawa na lugha nyingine kusema mimi kwa upande wa neema nimeanguka. Nimeanguka. Aha. Eh. Aha. It's just the same language. Mm-hmm. Eh. But, but in terms of days absolutely Aha. nobody should charge anybody in regard to anything. Ha, I think this has been one of the na best discussion na ni ni ni, ni napo wachunga oh you were saying something I, i don't need to this is one of the best discussions we yeah, have yes. had yes uh, sababu kuna mandugu zetu pale nje mara mengi wanachiuliza kama mimi wazazi wangu hata leo hawachakuwa na uwezo wa kuelewa ni kwa nini nili 
niliweka kanisa mm. pande mm. kaka mega ikawa ni siku ya chumapili hata nakumbuka tu siku moja baba yangu akinielekeza akiniambia kwamba baraka yangu itakuwa kama utaiweka siku ya chumamosi na nikalichukulia hilo swala kwa uzito sana lakini pia nikagundua ya kwamba ningelichukulia kwa uzito nilitimize ningekosea roho mtakatifu so nikawa nina way nifuate njia ya roho mtakatifu ama mahitaji ya baba wangu mm-hmm. lakini lakini pia ukumbuke baba yako pia ana ana, ana roho mtakatifu uh, japo maufunuo ndio tofauti mm-hmm. mimi namjua baba yako ndio um, ana roho mtakatifu lakini usisitiso ni kwamba roho anapeana mafunuo kulingana na mazingira na wakati tofauti tofauti na kusudi amen kwa hiyo kile ulichofanya sio kwamba uh, au kumheshimu baba yako kwamba ulikuwa unampima kati yake na roho hapa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, kile ulichofanya ni kutambua mapenzi ya roho mtakatifu mm-hmm. ya kule alikutuma kakamega amen ni kama mimi nilipokuja kisi mm-hmm. nilikuja hapa kufanya ibada ya jumamosi ya ya jumapili uh-huh. lakini roho akaniambia kwa sasa maana nimekuweka nyanjwa fanya kwanza jumamosi mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> baadaye akaniambia mimi nikikwenda ibada ya, ya televisheni huwa nafanya jumapili mm-hmm. akaniambia unajua hivi ukienda kwenye televisheni unakutana watoto wangu wengine ambao hawaelewi masuala ya jumamosi uh-huh. lakini wananifahamu lakini hao kwa sababu wanakujua na wanajua uko jumamosi wale wengine wana wanakufahamu kama mhubiri wa, wa roho mm-hmm. utawakuta hawa watu wote pamoja na kuwaleta kwangu maana watu hawa wote ni watoto wangu mm-hmm. lakini hawajuani hawajuani mm-hmm. mm-hmm. lazima nitafute mtu atakaye wajuanisha wa, 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 wa kama kuna ah, <laughs> neno kama hilo yeah. eh kwa hiyo hapa jumamosi watu wa Mungu wengi tu hapa jumapili watu wa Mungu wengi tu amen yani kama watoto wa baba mmoja lakini hawatambuani mm-hmm hawatambuani yani mnakuja kukutana tu kwa mazishi unasema huyu pia alikuwa baba yangu huyu pia alikuwa baba yangu lakini baba akasema nitamtuma roho mtakatifu mm. awajulishane mm-hmm. ninyi mlio upande huu nakumbuka siku moja wali wanafunzi wa Yesu wakamwambia tulikwenda pale tukakuta watu wengine wanafukuza mapepo kwa china langu tuwakataze akasema kama wanafanya kwa china langu ni wakundi letu Hawa watu wote hawa the, these are just brothers and sisters i Amen. can tell you Amen. they are just brothers and sisters not even from another mother uh, uh, from the same, same mother, mother where she was married first <laughs> <laughs> from the same mother kwa hiyo mimi namheshimu baba yako mzasi mm-hmm. sana kwa sababu mm-hmm. alitulea mm-hmm. baba ya bakari kweli atukupata kujuana mm-hmm. lakini najua kwa wapo wengine wanamheshimu sana lakini baba yake jared mimi alipata kunidea katika ukristo wangu siku za nyuma mm. na kwa sababu na mheshimu mm-hmm. lakini pia ni, ni muhimu kusema wazi kwamba na, na pamoja na hiyo heshima yapo mapenzi ya Mungu yanayofunuliwa kulingana na wakati ambayo lazima uh, tuyafuate kimsingi hivyo ndio naweza kusema na nafikiri itakuwa bora sana 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 Amen. na t- kama tunapomaliza pasta labda ni muuliza pasta bakari yeah. aseme neno moja useme moja alafu kisha tuweze kutoka kwenye studio hii amen ah uh, nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ufunuo kama huu unatufaa especially kwa wakati kama huu maana sisi wote ni watu wa Mungu na watoto wa Mungu na tunafaa kujua ni nini Mungu anahitaji tufanye kama mwili wake hapa duniani na kwa hiyo kujua ufahamu kama huu unatuweka katika hali ambayo ni sawa ya kufocus mambo ambayo huyu roho mtakatifu anataka tujafanye hapa duniani kwa wakati kwa kila wakati jinsi amesema kwamba kila siku tuyafanye. Kwa hiyo nafurahi sana na shukuru Mungu kwa sababu tumeweza kupata ufahamu na ufahamu huu utatupeleka mbali ambapo roho mtakatifu anangependa tufike. Nashukuru sana. Ndio, asante sana Pastor Bakari kwa ujumbe mzuri. Labda tumsikilize Pastor Jared ambaye uh, inaona maneno haya yamemgusa sana sana. Uh, lakini tukusikilize tu yale ambayo roho angependa uyaseme kwa ajili ya mtazamaji wetu. Nitasema tu dadi kwamba sasa Yesu amekuja. Ndio. Ametimiza. Unabii pamoja na sheria. Ameleta kile ambacho hakikuwa duniani. Mm-hmm. Roho mtakatifu 
kile Yesu yani mimi nikisikia Biblia hii nasikia tu ya kwamba kile Yesu alikuja kufanya kimefanyika kimefanyika mm -hmm. it has been fulfilled kumleta roho mtakatifu back to mankind ndio sasa leo hii tuko na roho mtakatifu mm -hmm. tumeruhusiwa kupitia kwa roho mtakatifu kuwa ndani yetu huitwa watoto wa Mungu amen we are now sons and daughters of god because we are led by the spirit because we are led by the spirit of god mm -hmm. na kwa sababu roho ako katikati yetu ametuweka muhuri to become heirs waridhi wa mambo ya wokofu mm -hmm. na kama roho mtakatifu amekuja mbona tufuate huduma ya sheria na hapa sasa leo hii tuko na huduma ya roho mtakatifu ambayo ni perfect which is perfect and glorious aha uh -huh. mimi ningewasi wenzetu pale nje kama unatusikia embrace the ministry of the holy spirit Amen. embrace the ministry of the holy spirit wala tusipigane kwa mambo ya siku eti mimi niko kwa siku ya chumamosi mimi niko kwa siku ya chumapili nimeweka pale tunafanya ibada siku ya chumapili as the main service lakini pia siku ya ichuma ninafanya ibada kuanzia saa moja na nusu ya jioni mpaka saa mbili na nusu ya usiku siku ya chumatano jana nilifanya ibada kuanzia saa nne mpaka saa nane na nusu yote ni ibada amen wala sitaki kuchifunga kwa siku moja ya kwamba hii ndio siku tu peke yake sababu Mungu amesema as long as it is called today I want to thank you dad for this wonderful opportunity. Amen. Amen. Um Kristo ni mwisho wa sheria. Amen. Warumi kumi mstari wa 4. Amen. Tunasema ni mwisho wa sheria lakini huwa hatusemi ni mwanzo wa nini? Aha. Kristo ni mwisho wa sheria lakini pia ni vizuri uelewe kwamba ni mwanzo wa wokofu. Amen. Na ni mwanzo wa mamlaka. Amen. Ni mwanzo wa umirikaji. Amen. Ni mwanzo wa roho mtakatifu. Amen. Na mwisho kabisa ni kwamba Kristo ni mwanzo wa umirere. Amen. Ukizungumza habari za uzima wa milele, lazima uzungumze habari za Kristo. Kwa hiyo mimi nakutakia mema ujue kwamba sheria ilikuwa na kipindi chake mm -hmm. na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa hilo. Na kwa leo tusipishane na mambo ya kwenda kanisa siku fulani siku fulani. Wewe ikiwa ni siku ya leo unatusikiliza mpokee Kristo na usifanye moyo kwa mgumu. Na hapo utakuwa na uzima wa milele. Mungu akubariki sana. Tulikuwa tunazungumza swala hilo na tumejadili pamoja nawe. Tunaamini kwamba kama kutakuwa na maswali, kuna namba zetu za simu zinapita hapo chini. Utaandika swali lako na tutaweza kukujibu. Tunakutakia mema na kwenye runinga yetu hii. Tunazidi kukuaminisha na kukuelimisha na kukuimarisha kiroho ili ufanyike mtoto wa Mungu ambaye utakuwa na uwezo na ushindi juu ya shetani. Amen. Mungu akubariki na wachungaji, Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Asante kwa kucha all the way from where you have come from ili tuweze kufanya program pamoja. Mungu awalinde sana. Amen. 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 You are watching Embassy Network Television, the number one Christian channel in the region. The unlimited, boundless, timeless, distanceless vehicle of good news. Join us now for your healing, deliverance, and elevation of your knowledge level. You are welcome to worship with us every Saturday from 8 a.m., Sunday from 8 a.m., and healing, miracle, and deliverance service on Wednesday as from 9 a.m. If you want to know how to grow your faith, deal with demons, how to paralyze witches, and build your spiritual life every day, only through Embassy Network Television, Channel 809 on Go TV and 495 on Star Times and all free-to-air devices.